Hello YouTube. So the sun is about to set in my world and it's a good thing I have this light sensor to detect when it turns to night because otherwise I would have to keep on switching it back to day because I don't like night. Uh, so here's the light sensor and if I wait for, for it to turn to night uh, you'll see that actually um, it will actually send a signal to this command block and turn it back to day. So while we wait for that, I will talk. I'll just tell you a bit about this thing. So um, I'm not the first to actually use this. Oh, ah, there. So it detected it pretty fast. But like I was saying, I'm not the first person to use this butter ray thing to detect the grass growth. Uh, and yeah, I wasn't actually, uh, I didn't actually discover this light sensing method. Uh, yeah, so this, even though I didn't make, like I didn't actually come up with this idea, I did make it the smallest, I think, the most compact design of this, or at least it's the most compact I've ever seen, and it's only free wide, and you couldn't really compact it anymore, uh, I think it, if, no, you couldn't compact it anymore, this is pretty much the smallest way to uh, wire it up with this. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And the way which these light sensors work is by detecting uh, when the grass dies. That was perfect timing there. So it detects when the grass dies and when it grows again. So when it dies, which is in the night, because um, there's water here and when there's water on top of grass and the light level um, gets low enough the grass will actually die and we can detect that with this bud array which will send out a pulse um, to reset this first of all and then it'll also go into a one tick monostable which will activate a T flip-flop which will uh, then activate these pistons here, which will uh, block off the water. So the piston arms will block the water from touching the grass, so it will allow the grass to regrow once it turns to day. Uh, while it's night, it, there won't be enough light for it to um, regrow, so it won't exactly spaz out in the night. So that's good. And yep. So once it turns to day, it's, it will detect the growth and reset this thing. So it will be back to detecting when it's night. And I guess now I go on to how to build it. So let's go. So to start off, you want to figure out where to place it. I'm just going to place it here. It's pretty... There's a lot of space here. Because the actual thing is pretty big. Uh... So yep, now you want to place your pistons, so it's just 12 pistons, like so. And you can also place your grass on top now. So now you want to place one more grass block there, and a piston right here, and get rid of that. Now you want a grass block here. It doesn't actually have to be grass, but the more grass around, the faster this grass regrows. So it'll be more efficient. Now you want... Oh yeah, uh, you need to take some unpushable block. I'm gonna be using obsidian. But you can use something like note blocks or um, furnaces or chests. Any Anything really. So now you're going to place block there, torch there, and 
a line of redstone going all over um all over the pistons and now you want a torch so that's your entire butter rate all done so you can activate any of these pistons and they'll send a pulse yep so that's the butter rate now uh, for the pistons which will block off the water so yeah just put them on this side whoa And I'm just gonna get rid of these pistons. And then you can just seal this place off. That way the water doesn't spill. So it's just grass over here. Like that. Oh, and there. Now you can place your water. So it's 12 um, buckets of water. Well, 12 buckets of water if you uh, want everything to be completely still. If you're, if you're kind of OCD. Yep, and to maximize the amount of grass we have in the area, you, uh, I'm going to be placing grass in these corners and grass over here. Whoa. Right. Now, uh, for the T flip flop, you're gonna have a uh, mono stable like this and a repeater. And over here, you want a sticky piston with a block on top and a torch here, dust, 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 and that's that's it. That's the entire light sensor all done. Now, if you want to put a command block in, like if you're in a creative world and you want to always be day, um, you could give you could just do this and give yourself a command block and place the command block over there that way whenever this thing turns on the command block will send a no the command block will get a pulse or not a pulse it'll receive the signal and switch it to day and also to make this flush with the floor just place some grass like this. Whoa, uh, like this. And some gloss right here. And that's it. It shall be flush with the floor then. Uh, and yeah, that. That's all I can really say about this thing. So. Yep, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.